Okay, so this next one says, I have a crush on my therapist. He's single, first of all, and he's 15 days older than me. We have so much in common. However, he's obviously my therapist, which is complicated. It is. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's also moving across country at the end of May. I'm wondering if I should go for it with him and tell him how I feel or if it's a bad idea and I just need to let it go. Please help me. I feel like there's a lot, not a lot to lose by going for it, but I need your help. Let it go. It's illegal. I was going to say, I want to hear Janelle's take on that. (laughs) Let it go. He will lose his license. Yeah. It's illegal. You can't have any sort of relationship with a client outside it. I think it has to be like past five years of no contact, like no patient to counselor contact. Yeah. Big, 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 big no, no. This must happen to people all the time where they fall in love with their therapist or their therapist falls in love with them. It happens. And then it becomes a humongous ethical issue. And most of the time it doesn't end well. Wow. And like the courts can get involved. It's really, really sticky. So unfortunately, let it go. <laughs> you would think it'd be like, oh, as long as you agree not to be each other's client counselor, then you can go off. No, that's one of the biggest things I learned in grad school was like, you absolutely cannot have any sort of relationship outside, even like a Whoa. friendship. You really have to keep that shit locked. Or maybe she's worth it, but he's like, I'll no, just but even if he career. does lose his license, it's not like he'd be like, oh, well, I'll just quit and not be a therapist. I don't care. I'm going to be with you anyways. Like you can still get in a lot of legal trouble. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> 